Hey gang, we are near Rockford today. We're at Calvary Cemetery, actually in Winnebago, Winnebago County. And we're gonna be talking about a murder that happened a long time ago, back in 1979, December. It's like 43 years ago, still unsolved. And what's kind of frustrating is that there is gotta be blood evidence. You know, this is a DNA kind of situation with the, with the modern DNA and familial matching. We're gonna talk about it. Her name was, is Rosemary Peterson. She was a vet, I believe, for looking at her gravestone. Not a lot is mentioned about her, but there is, a, there is things mentioned about this story. I wanna thank the Mint Pixie, our Instagram and sub Instagram friend for suggesting the story. We've been here, we came to the cemetery to do the story on Joey Didier, and we're back here. So let's take a walk up to her grave. I'll tell you the story, it's, just a terrible story, as all these stories are, right? Yeah, it was back in 1979 that this happened. Here in Rockford. And it was a cold December day. Now, it was at 11.30 p.m. December 4th where two young girls who lived in a small duplex heard people fighting, fighting inside the apartment that was next door to them, connecting, if you will. Now, the girls knew the couple next door. It was 23-year-old man named Willard Cowell, and he was there with Rosemary. She was his fiance. She was also 23. And Willard was not home. He was at work. But Rosemary's car was parked there. And the yelling continued. So the girls basically, you know, they came over. They wanted to know what was going on. So they started banging on the door. And they just heard a man's voice yelling back, we're having a fight almost like leave us alone mind your own business and they kept knocking and they heard some screams kind of like come help me so what happened was they went back and basically went back to their apartment called the police and when the police came I think the girls were getting inside and it was one of the bloodiest crime scenes it was said that was ever investigated here in Rockford. Rosemary was found tied to the bedpost. She had been stabbed multiple times, a massive blow to the head, beatings, contusions, knife wounds. One of her hands was nearly cut off. And there they found a kitchen knife and a machete. She was still alive, actually, so they rushed her over to St. Anthony Hospital. But Rosemary died the next day. Now, Willard Cowell, Will, was at work at the local factory. You know, they did an investigation. I guess that was his alibi. Now... She wouldn't let a stranger in there. There was no sign of force entry. As the investigation unfolded, they really weren't getting anywhere. The common thought was it had to be somebody she knew. And maybe they knew that her fiance was at work. Maybe it was a stalker. Probably a good chance it was a stalker casing the place out. But I'm guessing, you know, you, you add these things up and it, it seems like it had to be, it had to be somebody that she knew. But nobody knows. Now, we fast forward to now, and I'm wondering why it's 2023 and we've not heard anything about this case. Nobody's really talking about it even. 
I'm wondering if this is a forgotten case because, as you guys know that have been with me, we did the Tammy Tracy here. Uh, put the links in for that. Uh, Katrina Smith. Now, Tammy Tracy was all based on familial DNA matching. Genetics. This is a perfect case for that. There were some bloody gloves found. There's a bloody knife. The, the killer had to potentially cut himself. If not, his DNA is all over the machete and everything else. So, kind of hoping it's happening, but it's getting late here. Because all those other cases... Now, we have Marilyn Height Ross, former state's attorney here. She's the prosecutor. She's a go-getter. We talked about Marilyn. What's going on, guys? I'm kind of saying, hey, Rockford, police department, what's going on on this case? I'm not like, you guys are great, because we, we, we've talked about these past... It's not like Menominee Falls. Remember Diane Olwitz I did? I even offered $10,000 of my own money for Menominee Falls Police and I called them. No answer. We don't need your help. We don't want your help. You know, it's all I can think of, right? Government people or people with egos, they don't want to look stupid, I guess. $10,000. But getting back to this case, why, you know, is this a forgotten case? Is Rosemary forgotten? I can't believe so. But here we are at her grave, right here. And there is a wreath here, so she's not completely forgotten, right? Rosemary Peterson. Now, U.S. Navy, Vietnam? Was she in Vietnam? Are you kidding me? I mean, I, I didn't find anything online about her being a vet, but the dates match up. This has to be Rosemary. Buried here. April 2nd, 1956, December 5th. 1979 is, in fact, when, when it happened. So, of course, we say thank you for your sacrifices to all the veterans. But here she rests, Rosemary Peterson. And I don't hear anything, I don't hear anything happening here. We've got the technology. They've got the very advanced technology now. Let's go out and get this guy. I'm sure he's still alive. All right, guys, that's it for now. I hope we hear something back. If anybody knows anything, call Crime Stoppers, call the Rockford Police, or let me know. We'll post it. Let's catch this guy. All right, see you later. And rest in peace, Rosemary. Rest in peace.